Hello, during today's video we will learn how to copy the results from Thermal Desktop to ANSYS Fluent. We will realize a two-way coupling. In Thermal Desktop in this case, we have a model of a tank that is getting filled with hot water from the bottom and being released from the top. In this model, we can simulate the natural convection between the tank of the wall and the ambient using a 1D correlation, in this case, a natural convection correlation from thermal desktop. If we want to get a more accurate result, we would need to get the heat transfer coefficient from ANSYS Fluent, where the environment around the tank would be simulated. To create a map, we need to go to thermal system coupling and we have to create a new region, in this case called coupling, that we will link to the surfaces where we want to create the map. In this case, the exterior wall of the tank. The type of interface is HT to T. This means that the heat transfer coefficient and the temperature of reference will be taken from fluent then thermal desktop will do the thermal analysis and will give as a result the temperatures in that surface. We save now the drawing and we can pass to the fluent model. We will see here that in ANSYS fluent we have created the region of the environment around the tank and the corresponding boundaries for this. For the wall of the tank, where we will create the mapping, we need to specify in the thermal conditions that these values will come from the system coupling solver. Once this is done, we save the case and we export the system coupling file. We go to File, Export, System Coupling, and we create an SCP file. Now we can open the system coupling solver. We have to select the folder where we will have both files, the one from Fluent and Thermal Desktop. And where we will save our system coupling data. Once this is done, we have to add each participant to the system coupling solver. First, we will start with the Fluent case. We select the SCP file that we previously created and in additional arguments we're going to put the amount of processes that the solver will um, assign to Fluent, in this case 8. A second coupling participant, we will add the thermal desktop file, in this case it's just necessary to select the drawing file. And in the additional arguments, we must specify what case inside Thermal Desktop do we want to run. In this case, we have case 2, which is called case set 2, that is a transient solution. In Thermal Desktop, once we created this case set, we needed to add inside the logic the specification that the program is going to need to take the results from the solver coupling. We go to Cinda, Operations, and inside Operations, we add in the script the call OpenSF line, which will allow the program to use the values from Fluent. Inside the solver coupling, we will add the coupling interface 
for side one, we select the interface from Thermal Desktop. And there we add the region where the mapping will be done. For side two, we select Fluid Flow Fluent. And again, we select the boundary where the coupling will be done. Inside Solution Control, well, we previously have to create, sorry, the thermal data uh, transfer, where we will see that the heat transfer convection value will come from Fluent towards Thermal Desktop. Same for the temperature reference. And the temperature value calculated during the thermal analysis will go from Thermal Desktop to ANSYS Fluent. In the solution control, we specify the ending time of the simulation, which in this case will be 100 seconds. The time step size of the coupling, which is in this case, it's going to be one because we want to exchange the information every one second. And to allow it to have a correct time step link between Thermal Desktop and Fluent, we need to assign minimum iterations of one and maximum iterations of one. Now it's ready to run. We will see that the software starts to do the connection between Fluent and Thermal Desktop. This will take a couple of minutes, so we will see how the final result will look like. Here, system coupling access to thermal desktop that will automatically start running. And now some new windows are accessible inside system coupling. A command console, a chart, an SCT transcript, a window for Fluent where we can see what is happening in the background of the solver, and a window for Thermal Desktop also. We can track the process, in the command console. And the new chart window. After some minutes, we can see that system coupling has finished successfully to run the simulation between thermal desktop and Fluent. We can check the results from Fluent. Here we have a contour of the static temperature, for example. Or also we can check the surface heat transfer values that were actually mapped from Fluent to Thermal Desktop. We can also see the result from the Thermal Desktop model, which in this case, let's remember, it was a transient solution so we have a record for each one of the time steps. As part of the post-processing, we can even see a small animation from the beginning of the simulation till the end. And this is the final result. Hope you find this helpful.